Thank you so much, Patrick. Today not only marks the start of a new month, but hurricane season as well. As we've been telling you, some of our county's top officials are closely watching the Gulf as a storm is likely to develop. They spoke with 12 News reporter Jordan James about how this year's planning looks different all because of this pandemic. Hurricane season comes at a time where we're dealing with a global pandemic in the coronavirus. While it has made planning difficult for some counties, they say they're prepared to execute their plan. The work will be done. We'll just try to do it a little bit more safely. COVID-19 is on the minds of top county officials, but that's not the only thing. A potential tropical storm that is brewing in the Gulf of Mexico has Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brannick closely overlooking safety plans. I'm certainly praying that it's gonna, we're not going to be hit by any major storms and, and that we won't have any flooding during this hurricane season. Weather experts predict that this will be an above normal hurricane season with as many as 19 named storms. If it hits, the county will have to determine what to do at emergency shelters while still keeping in mind CDC guidelines. We'll have to have uh, screeners there to take people's temperature, maybe have additional buses so that we can segregate those people that don't have temperatures from those that, that might be hot. And in Orange County, any homes that flood is too many. Judge John Gautier says the county drainage system has improved, which should help during the hurricane season. We get these big rain events now, the water, it still builds up. It doesn't build up as much and it moves off a lot faster. But we still got, like I said, we still got a long way to go. Like Jefferson County, Orange County is making plans to keep evacuees safe during the pandemic. Statewide guidance is coming from the Texas Division of Emergency Management. I think the things that make this season a little bit different are obviously COVID-19. And the things that we will add will be disinfecting teams for spaces where we have uh, congregate shelter, congregate settings set up. Later on this week, we'll know more about the track that the tropical storm could potentially take. Be sure to stick with 12 News as we continue to monitor what's happening in the Gulf. Reporting here in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News. You can get constant updates on hurricane season from 12 News straight to your phone. Just text the word hurricane to 409-838-1212 to get the latest developments on the tropics. And we've made it pretty easy for you to stay on top of the latest weather conditions. Just grab your phone and download our 12 News Now app. Click settings, notification settings, and then severe weather alerts. From there, you can customize your location. Turn on the weather alerts and the watches and the warnings. And you can also have the red badge that comes across your screen. It's everything you need right in the palm of your hand.